going on YouTube, it's Benny here, and welcome back to Ask Benny, the show where you should never take my advice, like, ever. You don't do that. If you touch tips but don't make eye contact, is it gay? The way to look at this, have you ever heard of the popular saying, if a tree falls in a forest and no one hears it, does it make sound? Yeah, it makes sound. Kind of the same thing. If you touch tips, is it still gay? Yeah, it's still gay. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Did that make sense? Yeah. Can you lick your elbow with your tongue? <laughs> what if we try that really sly tactic where you ask a girl to see if they can touch elbows? So like... Like that? <laughs> no! No! <sighs> No. Nope. Best pickup line. I decided to Google what the best pickup lines were, and I'm safe to say that the most of these are if you've hit rock bottom and you are desperate. Hi, are you legal? No, you're too hot to be legal. That is so wrong in so many ways. That's probably the best one I can give you. I just shit in my pants. Can I get in yours? No. no. Why, why would you go up to someone and say that? Hey, yo, girl. I just shit myself. I may be a needle, but it works like a sewing machine. God damn it! Girl, are you from Tennessee? Cause you're the only tennis- you're not from Tennessee. Oh. Here's $30, drink until I'm really good looking, and then come talk to me. Whatever you do, do not use these in a real life situation. They will get you slapped. Or what you could do is you could go out and do it, record it, get slapped, send the video to me, and then I can laugh at you. Just, I'm just saying, that's an option. If you want, if you want. If I followed you home, would you keep me? Like, that's stalker level. That's stalker level shit. Don't do that. Hi, will you reject me if I try and pick you up? Yes. Th there's there's no winning with that one. Because what you going to say? Will you reject me if I try and pick you up? She's going to say yes. And then you're going to walk away. And then you're going to ask her something like, If I follow you home, will you keep me? Like, stop. You're going to get arrested. Okay? Stop. Are you from Jamaica? Because you're Jamaican me. You're not from Jamaica either. Are you from Tennessee now? Can I have your coat curtains? No! You never have my coat curtains! What the hell is wrong with you? It's okay, shh, it's okay. Everything's fine. Shh. I'm stroking my boob. Okay, shh. What am I doing with my life? Okay. My neighbors are gonna be looking out my window and judging me so hard right now. It doesn't matter. Shh. What would you rather do? Shit a bowling ball or piss a marble? Okay, so the way you think about this, no matter what you do, you're gonna end up with a geisha something. So if you go with a bowling ball, you're gonna end up with a geisha's ass. If you end up with the pissing a marble, you're gonna end up with a geisha's dick hole. So what I would say is run that way. Just run as far as you can. And if your friends ever say to you, like if you wanna shit a bowling ball or piss a marble, get some new friends, okay? They're freaking weirdos. It's the best advice I can give all day. How do you feel about reaching 1 million subscribers? Honestly, like really weird. Because if you, if you didn't know, if you don't know like my YouTube story or whatever, my aim back in May 2011, like my aim was to have 100 subs during like the summer. What, what do you call it in America? High school, like secondary school over here in the UK. So I hit 100, actually I lied, I got like 94. I got to 94 by the 1st of September 2011. And then, I don't know, it just kind of went for some reason. It just kind of went and I don't really know why I'm here. What would you do if you were female? Times in your life where you regret and you're wondering what you're doing with yourself. This is one of those times. So what would I do if I was a woman? Do I look feminine? I wish I had a wig. There, I think that's fine. What do you think? I look like a Twitch streamer. How do you, how do you girls live with yourself? I, it, honestly, this doesn't even look like tits. It looks like I have like a giant tumor on my chest. Doosh! I could, I could knock people out with this. Just doosh! Doosh! Craig, what'd you do today? You know, just shoved a pillow up my shirt, pretended I was a woman, motorboated myself in front of hundreds of thousands of people on the internet. Oh, cool. Do you ever go back to your first videos and look how far you've come since then? This is something that I really didn't want to do because my first 100 videos ever were privatized because they're that bad. Like, that bad. So without further ado, roll the clip!
What is up guys, it is Many Lad here bringing you a 5 to 1 clutch on Quarry on a bit of Search and Destroy on Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I got the DNA thing set up, so this is my first little bit of recording I've actually done. So, getting a little 5 to 1 clutch in the, the second match I think I've ever recorded. I was really lucky. Uh, this is probably my favourite Call of Duty of all time. Um, well, actually, Call of War because Call of War is an exception because it is the it is the Call of Duty game, and you will never be in Call of War because Call of War is just so simplistic, and now it's just got to the extent where there's contracts, there's so many kill streaks, etc., 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 that it just kind of wrecks the game. Anyway, my video is coming to an end, so uh, subscribe, please, if you want. Um, uh, I shall see you guys later. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You did ask for it, you did get it, and if it causes mental scarring, don't come to me about it. Alright, that's the loop for this week. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to ask me a question for the next one, I will leave my Twitter down below, and then whenever I tweet out saying for ask me questions, and then maybe you will get in next week's episode, or whenever I do these. I'll try and do them as soon as I can. But that's really it. Thank you again. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Hey, did you hear the moonlight? People have no fears. The moonlight. Let's get one thing clear. The moonlight. So hooray and cheer. The moonlight.